a seemingly lighthearted moment between Joe Biden and a supporter of Trump making fun of each other because of their age went from this to this. Now, as you can imagine, given everything that Biden has said about Trump and his supporters, this confused a lot of people. Not to mention, as off the ranch as Joe Biden may be, I'm sure that he's at least aware that his current vice president is running against the man whose name is on that hat. And I'm sure he knew that this would obviously be used for campaign material for Trump, which begs the question, did he do this on purpose? Because as we all know, the current narrative is Joe Biden of his own volition decided to step out of the race to allow Kamala to run. But based off comments that we've heard from people like Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama and other powerful Democratic elite, we all know it was really a coup. And what it looks like to me is that somebody is lashing out because he didn't like the way he was removed from his presidential race. Trump supporters are already coming out with their own theory. Like here, you can see Alex Jones saying that he believes Biden is clearly pissed about being pushed out. And I tend to agree. You even got people like this huge MAGA account and other popular X accounts that support Trump that are saying that Biden is actually supporting Trump. And it's likely because of how pissed he is that he was replaced seemingly without notice. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. Mr. But he President. got 14 million votes. They threw him out. She got zero votes. The only thing that this shows me for certain is how discombobulated the Democratic Party is right now. And I'm not going to lie. I love seeing this shit. I love it. Because not only does the country not take Kamala Harris seriously, but the president she's currently working for isn't taking her seriously and looks like he has no intentions on helping to push her over the finish line. And the ultimate concern for Democrats should be that when Democrats aren't united, they lose. And this is a historical fact. So between half of the Muslim population leaving Kamala in the dust to join the Green Party and Jill Stein and Joe Biden putting on MAGA hats, whew, Democrats and Kamala got some work cut out for them.